a prayer for pilgrims. Father in heaven, mould me into Christ likeness and stir up in me the fire of your love. The Archbishop of Canterbury and York have um, issued, I guess, a call to prayer for the evangelisation of, of England and for about a month I've been wondering what to do and then suddenly I thought uh, I should walk around my parishes because I've got seven and there are seven days in a week and it was a week's long uh, prayer enterprise running up to Pentecost um, and so I thought that fitted and then I felt that it would be good if um, I slept in the churches because I've only slept in one of my parishes out of seven and I thought probably I, that ought to change so I've been sleeping in in each of the parishes as, as I walk around uh, visiting people and um, uh, praying in the churches uh, I've been praying the offices formally and praying for people that I visit talking to people who run local businesses and uh, trying to bless the fields and the sheep and the farms as I go I've called it a pilgrimage and a pilgrimage is supposed to have three parts it's supposed to involve refectory so eating and I've been eating with people as I go around sanctuary and I've been sleeping in the in the churches and people have visited and have come to pray with me and then there's the road um, so that uh, my wife has been with me with my dog for a while um, each morning but um, in the afternoons I've tended to be on my own and that's about um, prayer it's about praying as I walk it's about witness to people that I um, uh, go and uh, you know visit um, or run into on the street and it's about um, just blessing um, what I see around the place so I, I've been praying a lot of prayers of blessing for the Inglewood area. Holy Spirit fill me with your power and help me to tell of the love and salvation in Jesus of Nazareth. Um, a little while ago uh, we had Jane Williams um, come to the diocesan day and um, she said uh, she reminded everybody that if a vicar wasn't praying then they weren't really a vicar and I have always had um, a, a yearning to pray uh, a lot I like praying and um, so it's a gift to have a whole week to do that it's what makes me tick uh, I love God and I um, I love people and it's through prayer that you you bring people to God and you bring God to people so it's it's a joy to be involved with that and this evening there'll be a couple of three people who come and join me with for evening prayer at eight o'clock and then at, at two in the two in the morning I've been praying as well um, and actually that's interesting because people who've heard about that are waking up and praying with me um, at the same time not for long but just for the blessing of the parish and um, for the uh, setting up a part of the church buildings as well so that they can be really places that the Lord can use um, and uh, then I have been praying with people just as I go around and visit them. Lord Jesus Christ Son of the Father renew my friendship in you and help me to serve you with a quiet mind and a burning spirit. In my work and any vicar's work you do a lot of praying with people what it is is a really lovely opportunity to get to know people without a business agenda um, it's with a God agenda it's with uh, the aim of just being incarnate there you know without anything to do so you know in some of the villages I've just wandered up and down the high street a bit and um, you know eating an apple on a bench and that sort of thing it's the kind of thing that you dream about now I'm actually really grateful uh, to the archbishops for having the idea because I feel like I'm not off task I'm on task and it's made me really think um, about my work and um, how it's so easily subverted into something that it's not supposed to be uh, in fact this is what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be with people uh, with God on your heart. Across the years I've used the Jesus prayer which goes Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me I'm a sinner and if you walk that it works really well and uh, for a lot of this afternoon I, I was um, praying uh, from uh, John's Gospel where Jesus said I'm the light of the world whoever follows me will have the light of life 
Uh, so that's a lovely way to pray as well. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, please keep me in the joy, simplicity and compassion of your Holy Gospel. Amen.